Are you on the hunt for this specific calling card or just hitting round 100 on any Cold War Zombies maps? Well, then this video is for you. Hello there! My name is Justin from Day9, and today we're going to be walking you through how to get round 100 on D-Machina. But before we get into the first steps of this, let's discuss the loadout that we're using for this game. It is optional, as you're going to be relying a lot on the Die Shockwave. Um, but for me, I like to use the M16 or the Ray Gun, if RNGs is blessing you on this game. But uh, you can see my loadout on screen for the M16, and then we'll get into the first step, which is just going to be getting to round 6, leaving one zombie left. Now following my pathing down with one zombie remaining, we're going to go turn on the power and the pack a punch. After that we're going to be doing the coffin dance easter egg to get a free juggernog, and uh, just to get some free salvage during the cutscene. After interacting with all three of those items, you're going to be asked to step through the Dark Aether portal. It's going to take you to the Dark Aether, and you're just going to want to jump up back to the surface, and then go down through a teleporter that it shows you on the map, collecting a packed punch part, and then placing it back in the center where you just came from. Once you are back, you can start setting up for the Coffin Dance Easter Egg by shooting these orbs you see on screen right now. I'm going to show you exactly where to stand and where to shoot, it's these blue little guys. Once you shoot all of them, it's going to teleport you into the Coffin Dance Easter Egg, and at the end of it, you can get a free Juggernog, and it is going to flip your round as well. So I'll see you guys in a minute. As mentioned earlier, it did flip our round to round 7, so we're just going to need to run this dog round, and then we'll be able to reap our rewards up at the top. After that, you can either get a temp like a, an AAT on your weapon if you don't have all the Easter eggs beaten. If you haven't, we do have guides for those on the channel to get yourself a free purple rarity weapon. Uh, but if you do, you can run with purple rarity for a while during this high round strat. Um, but then you're after this dog round, you're going to head up back to the spawn room and wait for a megaton to spawn in. Back up at the top, waiting for the Megaton to spawn in. Once we kill the Megaton, and then we kill each of the splitting Megatons, it's going to drop a part we need for the Die Shockwave. You're just going to run that part down to the lower section, and you're going to get a little uh, little beacon thing. Uh, there you see the key card. So we're going to run that down to the bottom section, insert it into the computer, grab a part, and then come back into the spawn room and train up the zombies. So try not to kill as many zombies as possible. I'm going to speed up the segment a little bit, but as I mentioned earlier, trying not to kill any of the zombies, you're just going to train them all up into a neat little horde. Then you're going to run them back through Nocturne and Toten, and then through a trap that you'll uh, ignite once you go back there. So I'll show you that in a minute, but just trying to wind them on up, keep them as close together as possible so you can make it one clean sweep. Activating the trap, you're going to want to run back and forth, and Stamina Up is going to help you tremendously through this, because not all the zombies are going to be caught up in the trap. After it catches enough of them, it's going to let you know uh, through a little dialogue section in the center of your screen. After that, you can activate the trap once more, and this is going to fling the door open, and you're going to be able to get the die shockwave.
with the Die Shockwave, the next step is just going to be getting fully perked up and pack a punching the Die Shockwave to tier 3 so you can sit up in the up top area, uh, just killing zombies with the M16, or if you're fortunate enough, you can get a different weapon like the ray gun that may help you out. Um, Ring of Fire is going to be your best friend up here as well, just killing zombies up here, just holding your own. It's kind of like if you were playing uh, Black Ops 3, playing the giant sitting on the catwalk, that's what this feels like to me. You're just going to be shooting zombies as they come through and just saving up as many points as possible. As mentioned earlier, the Raygun can help you with this high round. Uh, it's not essential. The Die Shockwave is pretty much the only essential part of the strat besides equipment, which you're going to see me grab right now. I'm going to leave the last three rounds of the round 100 in uh, so you can see the, the full strat in its entirety. Essentially, you're just going to start off either with Ring of Fire or getting Ring of Fire by using the Casimirs or the Semtex grenades in the spot. Uh, using the alternating features of the Die Shockwave, the L2 for the little suction to get the ammo back, and then the R2 to shoot out the little Shockwave Blast. You're going to run that through until uh, your Ring of Fire is completely depleted. Once depleted, you'll be able to activate a cruise missile to clean up the rest of the zombies. Then you're just going to throw a Casimir at your feet to recharge the Ring of Fire and rinse and repeat. Once the round is completed, you're just going to go down uh, to the workbench and then rebuy all your items for this. By this point in the game, uh, basically by 40 or 50, you're going to be running that with the M16 and the Die Shockwave. That's just going to be saving up all of the, uh, the salvage that you'll need for this strat. If you have uh, perks like uh, Death Perception is going to get you a lot more salvage, and Mule Kick is going to get you free items at the crafting bench when you buy items, so you'll be saving on salvage, and essentially by that point you'll be able to do the strat flawlessly. So I'm going to leave the rest of these uh, two or three rounds in there just so you can see it in its entirety, and I'll catch you guys at the end of the video.
And with that, you have hit round 100 on D Machina, and if this is your first time, you'll unlock the round or the another round calling card, so you can use that in Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. If you like what you see and you're new around here, please consider hitting the subscribe button with the Omega Fistfire Thorn Punch, as it's free, it really helps us out, and comment down below any content recommendations you have for the future. Thank you so much for coming out today, and happy hunting, my friends.